All right, so next little mod on Bailey's blue car is we've got a set of E46 spore seats that will fit in there. All we've got to do is round out the back holes. They came out of a car that we pulled, uh, yeah, came out of a car that was at like a pick and pull yard. So the windows have been down, they're very dirty. We've given them a spray and a vacuum with uh, like just some basic carpet cleaner. So we'll just give them a quick vacuum because uh, the foam's now dry. And then we're gonna paint them with This stuff here, the vinyl and fabric by Duplicolor. I've heard really good things about this. Heard it stays soft, doesn't dry up like the fabric. You'll still have um, like flexible material and that sort of stuff. So we're gonna try this out, see if we can get them black because, <laughs> get ready for this. This is what they look like. Pretty dank color. So nice and black and they should be good. I think we're going to need a lot. I'm only doing a very light coat for the first one. Let it fall. It says you can recoat it eight times. Okay. So you can just keep layering it on. I'm impressed. Me too. Whoa. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Very impressed with that. You'd never think they'd be out of a compact that's been sitting in a junkyard probably for the last no, this is year or two. Especially like that there. Yeah. That's crazy. That's not. <laughs> that is. That's really impressive stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And because it says you can keep like recoding, like if you miss a part, you can just keep going onto it. It's not that expensive either. No. Like so, these would be what? These are ninety dollars seats each. Um, a good set of black ones, like what, two hundred, three hundred bucks. Yeah. And a can of this is sixteen. Bucks. <laughs> I am super impressed with this. Like. This leather looks pretty much new. And the fabric looks pretty much black. We're gonna put another coat or a few more coats on it. But like, wow. Pretty unbelievable stuff. I'm stoked. That's Absolutely. So it doesn't look sticky or like it's a paint. It actually looks like it's. It came that way. Yeah. 
Really impressed. No modification. Direct bolt in. Direct bolt in. You wouldn't read about it. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I think these are just like bent into shape when they're in a car. Yeah, must have. Don't. I don't think we have to rent it out. I think if we get a big pry bar that sits like there and then along there, we could pull that out okay. and it would go straight in. So let's find a pry bar. Or I got a long screwdriver. Could work. Dude. What? It'll fit. Will it? Yeah. Pass me that. Is that recording? Yeah. So that side is all the way back. And then that side, you can't even see it, but it's all the way forward. And yeah, we just push that um push that rail forward. Hammer? Hammer. Hammer. Just pull this lever, pull the lever cronk, um, smack it twice to move the rail forward. So pretty blown away, honestly. Like, look at that. And we found that fitting them, you don't actually have to clearance the holes. You just need um, like some sort of, hold on, I'll grab the one we used. Like we used these out of the BMW toolkit because the frame, the sliders were like bent or like on a bit of a, they were like pulling away from the hole. Um, so we lined up the front ones and then pushed the seat all the way back, put the nuts on the front and then pushed it forward, like sort of leg press the whole seat forward. Um, and that just moved it to the back of the front holes and then the backs we just like pulled them in because they were sort of outwards um, like they were bent outwards and then the holes lined perfectly up and they went in like a, like nothing we didn't have to clearance the holes or anything I'm actually really blown away and they look super good they look good they look good that's how to turn crappy old seats that are the wrong colour into perfectly new looking ones. How good.